Welcome to our daily Forex market analysis and this is for trading on July the 24th, 2020. Just a quick disclaimer here before we get started. This is for educational purposes only. Trading is a risky business, so please be careful with your money. As usual, we'll start off by taking a look at our calendar here. In terms of the data here, we see that the consumer confidence number is below expectations. The number of claims here actually was higher than um, what was expected or what we have seen previously. So it looks like the um, unemployment numbers are going higher, which is kind of a move in the opposite direction of where everybody was expecting things to go. Now, coming up here, we have... Um, Tons of data here on Friday, we have PMI numbers and we have Eurozone PMI numbers here. So PMI numbers are the precursors to retail sales as well as uh, GDP numbers. So these are important numbers. And um, we are expecting higher numbers than the previous because the purchasing managers would be buying uh, supplies because they would expect an increase in demand. So for now, um, we'll see how that comes. Um, if the numbers are in line with expectations, that will be positive for the euro. If they are somewhat, uh, <coughs> excuse me, um, if the numbers are somewhat below expectations, I would not expect much of a change in the direction here. Uh, same thing for um, UK as well and, Euro and US dollar. So PMI numbers is the main news that's coming up um, on Friday here. Let's move on to our charts here. We are looking for, you. we'll start with Euro dollar. Uh, for the Euro dollar here, we have seen a move higher. Today we do have a bullish candle close here again. Now prices into a very important support and resistance level here. So this is the level that we haven't seen um, since Let's say we are back into 2018, August of 2018. So Euro is looking really, really bullish right now. But keep in mind, this is an important support resistance level. So if price doesn't go through, we could see things turn around. So be mindful of that. So right now our bias is a neutral to bullish. Once price goes through the resistance level here, our next targets, our next targets would be 1.1650 and 1.1665. The concern here would be if it doesn't go through today's high, we could see a drop. So do watch out for that. And also we did see the stock market drop today. And if that continues, um, we are likely to see a risk off environment. And in that case, um, the money will generally flow into the US dollar, into the safe haven currencies and US dollar being one of them. Uh, so watch out for that. So right now a bias is neutral to bullish. If it goes through this resistance level, which is the high of today, then I'm looking for the next levels. But if it doesn't go through that, we are looking for price to turn around. And in that case, the target would be 1.1535. So for now, neutral to bullish bias for Euro dollar. Next one here, we are looking at uh, pound dollar here. Pound is still trading in this range here. It's been stuck in this little range for the last three days here. So at this point, I would say if price holds below today's high, which is 1.2760, if it holds below, then we're looking for a move back down. So right now the bias is neutral to bullish. So if it goes through the high, then we have a lot of room to the upside and it could go all the way into 1.2880. Um, however, because we are into resistance here, so this is the strong support and resistance level, and if it holds below here, I will look for a turnaround. And um, first target here would be 1.2665, and then we're looking for basically move back into this range here. 
So bias here is neutral to bullish. So we have to be cautious here. If it doesn't go through the resistance, we are going to see a turnaround. Um, Aussie here, Aussie has um, declined, just like we had talked about yesterday. We had a pin bar here. Now uh, the stock market dropped as well. And when the stock market drops, we see um, Australian dollar and New Zealand dollar drop as well. So here we do have a nice a bearish candle close. So I will look for a bit of a follow through here. But keep in mind, we are into this uh, next level of support here. If it doesn't go through, it can still continue higher because technically we would still be in this uptrend. So do watch out for that. Right now, bias is bearish. I am looking for a pullback here. First target is 0 0.7035. And then we're looking at 0 0.700. So bearish bias here for Aussie dollar. New Zealand dollar, this one, we have a pin bar here, bias is bearish, looking for price to drop here back into the support resistance level. And this is where we have to be cautious because this was the range it was trading in. So if it doesn't go, um, go through it, if it doesn't do this, we are looking for a further move to the upside. So this is where we have to watch out. So for now, bias here is uh, bearish and we have to be careful. Uh, target is 0 0.6600 and then second target is 0 0.6560. So bias is bearish for New Zealand dollar. Dollar CAD here, this one is interesting. We see that price um, did drop into the support here and then it bounced off of that support. So now we have, um, a pin here in the bottom, but price is also into resistance. So the right now price is stuck between support and resistance level. And this is where this resistance level is coming from. Uh, so that's a, a strong support resistance level as well. So here, if the price holds below 1.3420, then we could see another drop, but should we see a break through the high, then we are looking for a move higher. So right now, my bias is in neutral for dollar cat. And should it go through the resistance, then we're looking for next move higher, which is 1.3480. But if it holds below the resistance, then I'm looking for a move back down towards the support level at 1.3350 or potentially 1.3300. So neutral bias for dollar cad. All right, so looking at silver here, this is uh, pulling back here. So we have to keep an eye on the stock market. If the stock market goes into the risk off mode, this may actually drop. So we have had a bit of a parabolic move here. So we may get a bit of a pullback. So keep an eye on that. Um, right now, neutral to slightly bearish. I would look for first move um, towards 22.20. And then if it holds above this, we could still see that move higher. But once price breaks through that, we are looking for a drop here then. And we just need to zoom out a bit to see the next level here. So 22 and then... Okay, so here we are going back to the daily. I will look for a move towards 22.20 and then it could come all the way back to 21.40. So for now, this is looking, uh, this one is looking slightly bearish here. Um, okay, and then gold here, gold is looking bullish. Um, at the moment, but watch out for pullbacks here as well. And in terms of our, let's take a look at where we are. So we are right into those all time highs from back in 2010. Uh, so this has been a huge move for gold and we haven't really seen too much of a pullback here. So we could be coming on to 
into some pullbacks. So keep an eye on that. Um, I would look for, first of all, um, bias is still bullish. Uh, this is neutral to bullish at this point. Now, if we get a pullback towards 1873, and if it holds above this, basically we may see one of these. So bias is neutral, uh, slightly bullish. Um, again, look for a pullback, and then if it holds above, then we're looking at 1900 is the target, and then 1920 above that. So neutral to bullish here for gold. Oil here, oil wasn't able to go through this resistance that we have been looking at for the last few days here. Uh, today we have a bearish candle close. So in regards to oil, uh, OPEC countries are going to um, increase production. And anytime there is a, there's an increase in supply, the prices tend to drop. So we're likely to see a drop here. Target is 30, uh, third target is 40.00. So bearish bias for oil, and should it drop through that, 38.70. Copper here, copper has been trading sideways here. Today's candle close was neutral. So bias is neutral right now. It's stuck in a bit of a range here. And it is still trading in that range. And then we have the extreme bottom of the range here. So, start, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, still bearishness in here and if price doesn't go through then we're looking for a move back up into the range so neutral bias for copper bitcoin here bitcoin's looking bullish and first target 96.50 which is the high of today and then we're looking at 97.70 so bitcoin is bullish s p 500 this is a bearish here and um, looking for a bit more of a drop. However, keep in mind prices into a strong support resistance level. If it doesn't go through, it can still go back up. And uh, like we saw back here, price just kind of went back and forth for a long time. Uh, so that would be the concern here if it doesn't. So basically I'm looking for a drop, but if it holds above 32.20, then we're looking for a move back up. For now though, next target is 3180. So bearish bias here for S&P 500, um, just with caution because it's into support. And NASDAQ here, we did see a nice drop in NASDAQ. Now price is still stuck in this range that it's been trading in here for last um, over a week now actually. And at this point, we are right into that support. This is where we were previously as well. Then price turned around. So that's the caution, watch out for that. But once we see a drop through that, next target is 10,350. And should it want to continue, then we are looking at 10,240. So bias is bearish here for NASDAQ. Dow Jones here, this one's looking bearish as well. However, price is into support. This is the bottom of this range. Last time price was here, it turned around. So watch out for that. If it doesn't go through, it can go back up. For now though, bias is bearish. Once we see it clear, the support here, I'm looking for a further drop towards 26,000. So in this case, the first target, is um, 26,350 and then 20 and then 26,000. DAX here we do see that price uh, wasn't able to go through the resistance and now um, it did drop today. Just bear in mind we are into support so this is where price wasn't really able to go through. Uh, so we have to be careful with this one but bias is bearish once we see a drop we're looking for a further move to the downside. 12,770 is the first target. And then below that, we've got 12,785. FTSE here, just like we expected yesterday, it did drop. It, it went and tested the high and then it has dropped. Now, next target here is 6135 and then 6080. So bias is bearish for FTSE. And here we are into Nikkei. We see price has been trading in this range for a long time now, for a couple of months here. 
bias is bearish. Again, keep in mind it is into support. So if it doesn't go through, it can still um, go back and go back into this range it's been trading in. So that's the caution. But because we are bearish here, once we see it clear through, then I'm looking for this drop towards 22,000. So in this case, the first target here is 22,250 and then 22,000. So that's it for today. You guys have a wonderful trading day tomorrow and I'll be back on the weekend with our weekly analysis. Bye for now.